<laughs> Today we're scuba diving and metal detecting on the water to hopefully find Spottom's lost necklace. Got the metal detector, got the scooper, and also a pair of goggles and my camera on top so I can record everything and share that with you guys to show you what I see underwater. I've got a knife as well to keep me safe if for some reason I run into an alligator. I don't know if it's going to help me out much, but glad to have something at least. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I see. This dinner right here that we in right now, cause this is the spot we like cutting up in. We're chilling, we're chilling. Chilling with Sato. We right here. So jumping into this water, I knew right off the back it was going to be a huge challenge to find Spottom's lost $30,000 necklace. Right now, I'm about maybe 40 to 50 feet underwater in this lake. It is just very eerie. There are big alligators and big snakes down here in Florida, so I have to be very careful. But as I'm looking around, I'm using my light and the metal detector and hopefully looking for something that shines back at me, which could be his necklace. And this is the first thing I found which is a boat anchor, but I need to make sure, so I decide to pull it up out of the mud, and it is indeed a boat anchor. I can't bring it up this time because I have my hands full with a big metal detector and a big dive light, so I gotta keep going on, and the further and deeper I go, it just gets even scarier and murkier, and I'm just trying to take my time, look the best I possibly can, but the conditions are absolutely terrible. There's a bunch of trash down here, the metal detector's beeping left and right, but sometimes you gotta put in the time and you never know, you can find the things that you are searching for. Before we continue this adventure, this video is sponsored by Lightning Link Casino. Please support my channel by installing the game with my link in the description. Lightning Link Casino is the most exciting mobile game yet, which includes the newest and best classic slot machines. They're inviting you to play the world's favorite free casino slots from the best casinos. Use my links below or the QR code right here to download Lightning Link Casino while I tell you more about the game. It's Lightning Link's third birthday and right now to celebrate, they're running two weeks of exciting events, offers, and in-game gifts, but it doesn't just stop there. New slot machines just launched like Dragon Link and Buffalo Gold, so make sure to get in on the fun. I just won 21 million coins and now I'm at 34 million. When you download this game, everyone starts off with 10 million coins, but now I'm actually up a bunch and it's just so much fun. <laughs> download Lightning Link Casino using the link in the description or scan the QR code right here on screen and get 10 million coins if you're a new player. Available on App Store and Google Play, just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. So we're back underwater right now metal detecting and we're continuing our search. There's a lot of trash everywhere, the metal detector is still going off, there's even a shoe right there. There's probably everything that you would ever want to find in this lake, but I'm searching for one thing which is Spottom's lost $30,000 necklace. Let's see if we can pull through and find it. So I'm digging in the mud right now. I had a signal just filling with my hands to see if it could possibly be that necklace. Didn't think it was, so I just kept moving on. I'm just hoping right now at this point the necklace shines back and that it's not underneath this mud. It's just trash everywhere. Try to pick up some right there, but I can't pick up too much big stuff because I don't have uh, any you know, hands free. And then this scared the crap out of me. I was like, what is this, man? It's actually a boat trailer, I believe. And I thought maybe there could be a boat on it. So I'm going around. I turned my metal detector off so it wasn't loud in my ears. And I just thought that was very eerie. When you find things on the water that you don't expect, it scares you sometimes. But there was no boat on this. I thought that was pretty odd. But let's keep searching. And this right here is our first piece of river treasure all day, which is a pair of nice looking sunglasses. So I'm definitely putting that in my bag to take home. But let's keep searching around and hopefully find what we came here for.
the issue I'm running into is the further I go out, the muddier and murkier it gets. And it would be fine in an all right condition, but there's so many cans and trash underwater that the metal detector's beeping left and right. So this is seriously a needle in a hay field and I'm gonna have to call it today. I tried my very best. I pushed through alligator and snake infested water to hopefully find it. I feel bad, but you know what? I came down here and gave it my best shot and that's treasure hunting. You never find exactly what you're searching for. You just gotta get out there and give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> what happened there?